What's up, everybody? It's your boy, David. It's summertime, which means summer toys, which we can use to make summer terrain. Today, we're going to beat the heat by making some do-it-yourself palm trees. Let's get to it. We've got two main parts for today's build. One is a pack of shuttlecocks, a word I, as a grown man, can definitely say without giggling like a little bitch. I picked this set of six up at Wally World for about a buck. You can find similar wherever you're at during summer. If not, sporting goods stores or Amazon should have them year-round. Start by cutting the little fins off of the body. I used a craft knife here, but scissors or snips would work just as easily. Then you're going to want to cut along the fins in a regular pattern. Because of the grading, I opted for alternating between large and small sections here. These are going to be our palm fronds. The next thing you're going to need today is some plastic straws and a hot glue gun. I'd recommend a low temperature one with a half plastic cap like the one you see here. We're going to be pushing the plastic straws onto the tip of the gun while it's warm. And I found that a high temp or fully metal tip just makes the plastic melt too quickly and stick to the glue gun tip. We're just trying to get a slight flare out here, so be gentle and then cut them after you're done to about 3 eighths of an inch. These are going to make up the trunks of the trees. Now that we've got our starting pieces, it's time to finish prepping them. Cut the ends of the palm fronds along the existing pattern at the tips. You can see here I went for a few different variations on size and patterning to give it some variety. Remember that a little bit of variety can go a long ways towards making your build seem more realistic and lifelike. Next, get some bases set for mounting. Chipboard works great here, but I'm still working through a backlog of cardboard to recycle. Rough circle is at about two inches should do the trick nicely here. Pop a bead of hot glue onto the base and mount your first trunk section. This next part is going to be stacking up the tree trunk sections. As you can see here, I'm alternating between super glue and sprinkling on baking soda. This is a good way to get a rock solid bond between the pieces that don't want to stick otherwise. Just super glue by itself doesn't stick the best to the straws here. In retrospect, going slowly through this with a low temperature glue gun would have possibly saved some time. If you do go that route, just make sure you're careful not to mount the pieces that you already have mounted any more than you already have by this point. Regardless of how you decide to go about it, stack up your trunk pieces till you've got a size that looks good for the scale you're going to be using them at. Get some variety on your bends and mix up the height a little bit too. As you can see here, I also opted for a classic pirate variation in the mix. Now for mounting the palm fronds. This part is a bit of a pill. Super glue is unlikely to work well on the shuttlecock bits, so you're going to want to use hot glue here too. Gently put a little bit on the end, being careful not to melt the top of your tree, and then stick just a handful of fronds in it. I recommend only starting with four or five of the small ones and then letting it cool for a minute. Once this is set, repeat the process by adding a bit more glue in the center and then putting in a few more fronds and keep at this until you've got the look that you want. Now to get those trees shaped how we want them. I recommend warm but not boiling water plus patience for this step. A heat gun or lighter is likely to be too aggressive depending on the type of plastic you've got. You can experiment on some scrap pieces, but for me, these options went from no effect to melting and curling in way too short a time frame to be practical. The method I used instead was to heat the pieces in water, shape by hand, heat again, wrap with pipe cleaners, and then fill out some glue baking soda mixture on the top section to help keep them in place. Next up is painting. Start with a few layers of black magic base coat. Depending on the texture of your straws, you might want to try roughing them up on the outside with a bit of sandpaper to help the adhesion of the paint. I didn't think of this until I had two coats on, and I really wish I had, but it still worked out fine, just took a little bit longer. After the first few layers, I did base coats with green and brown mixed with a dollar store pouring medium I found. I've been experimenting with this a little bit since it showed up locally. It's very similar to Mod Podge when it dries, but it's much thinner when you're painting with it. You could just as easily do regular Mod Podge here. I've just been wanting to try this stuff out on a few more projects. The only major difference between the two here was probably filling the holes in the palm fronds, which may be easier with the thicker Mod Podge solution, depending on what materials you're working with. After doing a few base coats to strengthen things up, apply a few layers of highlights to both the tree trunks and the fronds. After going up in lightness a few levels, bring things back down with your choice of inks. I've been really digging these Bombay India inks lately. They've got great color and really good coverage and you can get a 10 pack of different colors for like 25, 30 bucks. So arguably much cheaper and in my opinion, much better than most miniature painting inks currently on the market. 
After that, go ahead and bevel your bases and add your choice of flocking. I went with my classic super glue, coffee grounds, and black tea leaves. Depending on how you like the contrast of the piece at this point, you can go ahead and add in some finishing highlights with a little bit of light dry brushing. And finally, because this is one of my terrain builds, I'm going to round it out with a little bit of seasoning. And that's it for this one, everybody. Stay safe, sane, and crafty out there, and I'll see you in the next one.